Hey guys, Anthony with The Rag Company. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to use Coach Kemi PSS, also known as Plastar. Let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna be applying Plastar onto my Dodge Rams KO2s here. These tires have uh, been through a rough couple months in this winter and I want to treat them with a little bit of a dressing here. So Plastar is in fact a dressing. It is something that you can use on rubber, plastics, trim, things like that, that are absolutely going to have a darker, deeper look after application. Um, this stuff is, is kind of magic, to be honest. And so um, it does have some protective qualities as well. So there is some UV inhibitors built into this, but the look that you get from Plastar is, is extremely impressive, especially on tires. And that's why I want to show you guys on tires today, because uh, this is without doubt become one of my favorite new tire dressings that I've ever used. Zero sling, um, it dries to the touch and just has this really, really dark and wicked look. So we're gonna apply some here on my KO2s. I'm probably gonna cut it right in half here, apply it on one side and do it just on this side to show you the difference. We did do a deep clean on these with Green Star. So I hit them twice with Green Star, which is their universal uh, alkaline cleaner. Got the tires to where they're nice and clean. There's no residue coming off, so this should stick pretty well. This product can be applied to, like I said, trim and plastic. Now, one thing I'm gonna note is that I'm just using this on my tires today. Unfortunately, for this video's sake, all of my trim on this truck is already coated, so there's no point in me putting Plastar on there. Um, it'll definitely go onto it, but it won't necessarily stick, and that look may not stick around for very long. So we'll have to find another vehicle to put this on in terms of the plastic and the other trim. But in terms of longevity, I would hope to see about four weeks four weeks to a little over a month of protection uh, and a deeper look out of Plastar. At least that's what we've seen from all of our previous testing. So for this, using a five by seven black microfiber applicator pad, I'm gonna take a little bit of Plastar here. Now a little goes a long way. Trust me, a little goes a long way. This bottle will last you a very long time. So I am just going to, That's actually pretty much it. So this is a liquid-based dressing. So it is not like a chunky uh, cream-based dressing. It is pretty much a pure liquid. So then we're gonna cut it about right there. I think that will be good. And it is okay if this gets on paintwork or wheels or anything in adjacent, just wipe it off. It's not meant to stick to that, so it will come right off. And this stuff just spreads extremely, extremely thin. Now on meteor tires like this, if you would like, you can brush in the product. So you can maybe put it into like a little, maybe like a dish or a cup, and then take a brush and brush everything in to this more of these uh, deeper treaded areas. But for the flat parts, I think that a foam or a microfiber applicator will definitely do the job. Definitely a deeper, darker look, a little bit of a sheen on it, but not much. And so what you can do, let this sit for a little bit. If you're going more for that uh, glazed donut look, you can layer it on there. But what's nice is immediately right to the touch, it's dry. It's slick, but it is dry. So pretty awesome, man, pretty awesome. So I'm gonna give this a couple minutes and come back through, hit it with a second coat, if we wanna call it that, just to see if we can get a little bit more of a deeper, darker look out of it and call it good. All right, so it's been about a minute. I'm gonna come back through touch it up just one more time, and then round out the rest of the tires so you guys can see the full effect. And we'll finish it out here, knock out the other side. All right guys, so that is how to apply Coach Kami's Plastar to rubber tires and other rubber surfaces. Now, if you're applying this to plastic, I highly recommend cleaning the plastic first and perhaps even prepping it with like an alcohol type of spray. So whether it's like an ice propyl alcohol diluted or something like that. So this ensures that it sticks for a longer period of time. But overall guys, this looks killer. I hope you think it looks killer too, because this is about as good as these tires have looked since new and I'm, I'm pretty pumped. So as always guys, if this video was helpful, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rag Company.